I simply adore garlic, rosemary, and lemons together. It's one of my favorite flavor combinations. So today on Diva Skin Cook, I'm gonna show you how to make this super juicy, moist, oh my gosh, look at that. It was delicious. Lemon, garlic, and rosemary roasted chicken. It comes together super fast, so stay tuned. All right, we're gonna start with a little bit of prep work. We're gonna start by zesting our lemons. That yummy, yummy lemon zest smells so good. Make our chicken taste really yummy. Then we're gonna load up my garlic press. If you don't have one of these, get you one. They are like the bomb. That's like a pamper chef one, I think. I love these things. Crank out that fresh garlic. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just remove my rosemary from the stem. And then we're gonna dice that up really, really fine. Be sure to use like fresh ingredients for this recipe. It just works the best and it makes it taste really good. So go ahead and dice them up till they're really, really tiny, just like that. And as always, you can find this recipe on my blog, divasandcook.com, with all the measurements and lots of other recipes. So go on over there and check it out. All right, now I have my softened butter in a bowl. Here, I'm just gonna stir it up to get it all creamy. Then we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil. Stir that up. Then we're gonna toss in that fresh rosemary we just chopped up. We're gonna add in that lemon zest. And then we're gonna add in our garlic, okay? Add that garlic in there and I just stir it up. I'm kinda pressing it a little bit. Just kinda get the flavors combined. And if you have questions or comments, you guys, leave them below. I love reading your comments. And if you like this video, let me know by liking it, all right? Okay, this is looking good. And there's our chicken. Isn't he cute? He's adorable. I named him Petey Herbert. I named all my chickens. I'm kind of weird. I'm okay with that. All right, now I have some salt and pepper. I'm just going to generously, and I do mean generously, season up this chicken with salt and pepper. Don't be shy with the salt and pepper, y'all. The chicken can handle it, okay? So really... Really season it up good. Make sure you lift the little legs up and lift the wings up. I'm gonna um, make sure you season the cavity with salt and pepper. I don't like this part. Ugh. I hate touching the inside of chicken, it's gross. But yeah, so he looks really good. He's nice and seasoned. Voila, he's looking yummy already. Okay, he's good to go. So now we're just gonna brush on our butter mixture. Cover it up generously with the butter mixture as well. Okay, you may not need all of it, but I usually use all of it because I like butter and stuff. Okay, he's looking good, Petey Herbert looking good. And I get under the skin as well. Don't forget under the skin, okay? Then I'm gonna place him into his final resting place. Oh, Petey Herbert. All right, now we're gonna just drizzle this little baby with some, with lots of fresh lemon juice. Go ahead, just squeeze it on. And now it's time to stuff it. I'm stuffing it with onions, some lemons, and some rosemary. You can use garlic as well, but I don't think I had any more left. I don't know why I didn't use garlic. Let's go ahead and stuff it. Stuff the bird with all that stuffing. And then I tied his legs together with some foil paper. I didn't have any kitchen strings. So I used foil paper. Works just fine. Now he is ready for the oven. I have my oven at 425. We're going to bake it for 45 minutes. And then after 45 minutes, it'll look like this. It looks good, it looks yummy, but it's not done yet. Go ahead and baste it, and then we're gonna cook it for another 15 to 20 minutes, and then it will be done, yummy. Look at it, isn't it pretty? Let it cool off for about 15 minutes before you cut into it, okay? And now you're done, you have made a wonderful roasted chicken that is so good, y'all, oh my gosh. It is so tender and juicy and moist. Serve it with some rice, potatoes, whatever, but mm, look at that, what are you saying to me? I couldn't stop eating it, I was recording it, and yes, I was eating it. <laughs> right there like a beast like a savage beast i couldn't stop it was so good but i hope you guys enjoyed this recipe bye